Hello Edu Explorer, thanks for joining us and welcome to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Edu Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you had some time to watch our previous videos, if you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at seashells. We shall take you to seashells as never seen before. We are able to exrail this particular country if you plan to travel for holidays in the future or you're about to do so. Our information will give you a clear guide and for you to make an informed decision. Seashells and East African countries, for those of you who don't know much about it, we are able to dig into that. So we should just break that down to you to have a clear understanding as you plan to make a decision. The Seashells are one of Africa's islands paradise, consisting of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean in East Africa. The island nation is considered one of the most romantic destinations in the world, having attracted the popular American couples, for example, like Citro Seaworks, uh, quarterbacks Russell Wilson, and also singer Syria, on a romantic gateway where Wilson proposed to Syria. The island's capital city is Victoria, which is located on the largest island of the archipelago, Macher. Victoria is home to over 80% of the population, thus looking at the total population of seashore should be just over 90,000 people. The second largest island is uh, Praslin and is home to over 7,000. La Dinger is the third largest island home to over 2,000 people. The seashore's population is made up of an electric mix of dissidents of freed African slaves as well as Arabs, Indians, Chinese, traders and also uh, British and French settlers and seafarers consisting of diverse culture, religions and also other things which uh, could be mixed within regards to population growth. The main language spoken includes French, English and also Cleo. If you are new to our channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The island nation enjoys warm weather all year round, with temperatures averaging between 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. The best time to visit depends on your desired activities. If you want to enjoy sailing or other wind-based activities, visiting the island is ideal between May and September. If you are an avid scuba divers or snorkeler, Visiting between April and October is ideal, as that is when visibility is at its best. With regards to arrival to Seashore, you will arrive at Seashore's International Airport if you plan to visit, which is located 7 miles, uh, just, just over 11 kilometers from Victoria on the islands of Match. Bus services and taxis are available to carry passengers to any point on the island. Airport facilities include uh, tourist kiosks, duty-free shops, banks and also currencies exchange facilities, ATMs, restaurants, bars and other executive lounge. With regards to accommodation, there are a wide range of accommodation to choose from, including large hotels, guest houses and also island resorts, and budget holidays accommodations. Large hotels include the Four Seasons Resort Seashores in Marsha and the Raffles Prince Lynn Seashore in Prince Lynn. Grace guest houses include Banquet Guest House in Ladinger and the Beau Vallon in Marsha. Prices is also, for example, we're talking about price, prices are available upon request based on budget as well and how soon you may be able to make your application or apply for your own bookings. For those of you who are already in Seashore or plan to visit, we're going to talk about the interest with regards to Seashore. The St. Louis Clark Market is a very popular place for you to visit. It is a must to visit the island's best market and top tourist attraction. The St. Louis Clark Market, also known as Victoria Market. You can buy fresh fruits, vegetables, spices and fish at the market as well as shops for souvenirs, art, clothes and etc. You can also enjoy authentic Sicilian cuisine at the various eateries available around the city. Sicilia's National Botanic Garden is also a very important attraction. Located on the outskirts of Victoria in Montfleur, the Sicilia's National Botanic Garden is home to a wide variety of flora and flora and also wildlife, including the Coco de Mer, which has the biggest knot in the plant kingdom, the Coco Maron, which grows on the forest floor 
and is used by local to make ropes and brooms and a number of spices and fruits trees also. The signature feature of the garden is an ashes house which holds a collection of brightly colored ashes including Cisha's own native char. With regards to the beach, we're just going to make sure that you have a better picture as to how it may look like. Of course, having your skin, uh, your ski skinned uh, by the sun and enjoy the warm Tokyo's water of uh, Indian Ocean is an activity you will do in Seychelles. Belle Vallon is much most popular resort beach that offers driving centers and water sports facilities. Here, there are no strong currents, no rocks and coral on the foot, and a lifeguard service is supplied. During the southern and trading winds, you can enjoy extreme calmness while you are in these waters. For a more sedulous beach experience, uh, make sure that you visit Syria's beach in the northern eastern part of Marshe. It offers sandy beaches fringed by sculpture granite boat boulders and it's also a popular spot for somebody. Waves can be large as it's no thrift, making popular with bougie and also borders. As major is the perfect beach for picnic and for smoking, it can be reached by boat and if you enjoy hiking, you can take a tour through the Minus Seniors National Park to reach the beach. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different networks. We should be talking about the Sicilian culture and cuisine. Multicultural, colorful and welcoming are just some of the words used to describe the Sicilian community. The island is a melting pot of different cultures and traditions and you are sure to enjoy Motun and Sega music that is often accompanied by dance while on vacation on the island. Sicilian cuisine is diverse and tasty, drawing influence from African, British, French, Indian and Chinese cuisines. You'll be spoiled for choices with fish, crab to octopus and also many other tropical fish. And you'll enjoy many of fruits including mangoes, pears and star fruit. With regards to travel and making sure that you have your identification on papers, the passport and visa requirements are very important. All visitors require passport passport valid for duration of a period of uh, over six months a valid or onward ticket is also very important and is sufficient funds to cover their stay a minimum of 150 us dollars per day is expected as something that will help you to go around doing your thing a proof of accommodation extensions are possible if applied for at least a week before expiration of your visitors visas no visas are required it is highly recommended that passports have at least like i just mentioned six months validity remaining after your intended date of travel or departure from your travel destination we can say from your own home country with regards to money uh, the seizures currency is the rupee uh, abbreviated at scr money can be exchanged at banks and the airports at on marshall or at hotels Visitors can also use their preferred major foreign currency, for example, like euros and most widely used there. Some use dollars, of course, or pay by credit card. To change rupees, rupees back into your foreign currency on departure requires the official receipt from the initial transaction. ATMs are available at major banks in Victoria and Presley. We just want to also encourage you with regards to health, healthcare, travel that's very important uh, visitors from areas affected by yellow fever require a yellow fever vaccination when entering the country Immuniz immunizations against hepatitis a b uh, uh, typhoid are recommended visitors are encouraged to bring their own medication to advert the risk of travelers like things like diarrhea as well as some block and insect repellents especially against mosquitoes bites during the rainy seasons a local suppliers can be erratic and costly bottled waters is widely available for visitors who prefer not to drink tap waters however tap water in the county meets uh, the w world health organization standards the government hospitals are very close and several private clinics can be found in the victoria However, they are limited in more remote islands. Medical insurance with full coverage is always advised. So with regards to safety, so to say, the last but not the least, we talk about the safety in Seychelles. The country is generally safe and no major incidents of violence against foreigners have been reported yet.
So with regards to that, it's safe of course. Keep general safety precautions measures such as being vigilant after dark is isolated in isolated areas and avoid taking valuable to your beach. Women should generally avoid working alone on isolated beaches. With regards to seashells, this is what we talked about bringing to you. Uh, seashell has been a renounced destination over the years. Hopefully, you plan to uh, to travel to seashells, and our information, I'm sure, she must have given you a clear picture with regards to the beach and the attitude and the country on its own, and with approach to international visitors. If you plan to travel to seashells, we encourage you to. Um, to go through the information we've provided. If you've been to Seashell yourself, we advise you to also drop some information in regards to your comments to the comment section and let our viewers understand what your experiences were. For now, thanks very much for watching and welcome to Explorer again. We are looking forward to meeting you to our next episode. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.